Alright, so now I'll show you how to create the wood grains and the more details on the base of the barrel here. Okay, so if I select the barrel, I hold down shift, left click. Okay, I'll isolate this selection. Shift, left click on your sub tool layer, you will isolate the selection. So I can see that the mask is still on, so I'll just control drag on this little background here and then I'll unselect it. Okay, and then I'm ready to use my number 6 brush. Make the draw size smaller to create some wood grains. Okay, but uh, when I'm creating wood grains like this, uh, I really want it to rotate uh, 360 degrees. So I make a calculation of my uh, reference before. So I saw 12 grains on this side, 12 lines, and then so there should be another 12 on the other side. So if I were to count that, I have 24 of these uh, wood lines and a 360 degree angle. So I can use this kind of simple maths to my advantage. Okay, so if I go to my transform, okay, I'll off uh, X and Z, I'll on, keep only Y, and then I'll press radial symmetry. Radial symmetry, I'll set this radial symmetry count to the just now that I counted, 24 radian count. So now what I'll do is I can create brush strokes that does it 24 times, 360 degrees like this. So it's very useful for me. Okay, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to make the draw size really small. Okay, so I have a very fine line going down here. Okay, maybe 12 is good. And then I actually want to create a straight line coming down here. One straight line. So how do I create a straight line? You can see I uh, try a few times, it's all very curved. So uh, let me teach you how to draw a straight line from top to bottom. Straight line, you left click. Left click on your mouse or your walk-on. Left click. Hold down shift, shift, you'll create a red line like this, and then you can put it around shift. Now you need to let go of shift without letting go of your left mouse click. So I let go of my shift, my left mouse click is still there. Now I let go of my left mouse click, and now I have a perfect line running down the center. And because of this uh, perfect straight line running down the center, it's uh, being replicated. 24 times and now I have a uh, 24 lines of a straight line running down my barrel okay so let me just unisolate it and have let me have a look I think I'm I'm okay with that okay I think I'm okay with that so if I want to make this barrel even better I need to add more details so I will just go back here uh, I need to go to transform. So now I need to, I want to take my symmetry count down to maybe 4. Okay, and I'm going to do more brush strokes here. Okay, so, so I want it to be smaller in size and the intensity to be lower as well. So I want it to be pretty subtle. So I, when I create all these lines like this, okay, I want it to repeat a few times. So it's repeating every, every uh, 5 to 6, between every 5 or 6 wood. So it doesn't look so duplicated, then I can make something organic out of it. And then I'll try my best to keep my grain lines uh, following how it curves. And I'm zooming out a little bit more so that uh, I don't need to... What do I call it? I zoom out a little bit more so that when I apply it using my, my walk on pen, back and forth is a bit faster. So if I were to zoom in a lot, I can see all the details, but I can't do it as fast. You know, my, my hand will have to go from one side of the screen to the other a lot of times. So I'll just rotate over here. Okay, so this one was pretty bad. So I need to do it a few more times nicely. This one, a few more times like this. So actually, I don't need to do it so many times. And uh, But as a tutorial video, I'm just doing a quick one. But, you know, if I can take my own time, I would spend a lot of time, make a lot of different ticks. And thin lines, different variation. As you know, you want to make something beautiful. You always want to have three variations. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. I just realized my face is covering the reference. As as you know, you want to make something beautiful. You want to create a lot of lines. So, uh, left click and drag, and uh, create thick, thick uh brush strokes like this. So, for example, an area I want to make it stronger. I can create thicker lines here. So, so it has thick lines and it has thin lines as well. So you need to purposely go and articulate this kind of thick and thin areas. And then it's a little bit 
silly to do is here because I'm just doing the base. What I need to do is I need to unisolate everything. I need to look at everything on top of it. And then I'll know where to improve on this. So I, as I told you, I want some thicker lines. So maybe I'll just get some things here. So this is like this part of the details. And I make the part of here. So push in and push out on some areas here. Okay, and I'm still using four times symmetry. It's four times radian symmetry, so it's repeating a little bit four times across. So I don't need to do too many times, but I know it's there. Okay, now I want to use my number eight brush. Number eight brush, if you go down here, I have these two brushes that is pretty good at creating this wood grainy effects. In fact, this one also. So just take a look and uh, use this. So number eight brush, I'll do a drag rectangle and I'll hold down, uh, I'll hold down alternate as I do it. So it will just carve it in a little bit softly. So I'll add this kind of nice texture details, some of these wood areas. And every little bit helps, you know, every little bit that breaks up the perfectness of this sphere that we started with. And uh, we want to break those up and then uh, rotate it on a certain degree such that people don't see exactly what we have done. So uh, I think for this, for this brush, that's pretty good already. So I'm holding down alternate to push in. And I'll choose the other one as well. I'll use this one. Turn it. Turn it. I think it just makes some of these areas look a bit more uh, a bit more delicious looking. Like uh, it has some juicy details there that we can all enjoy. And uh, you, we know that wood surface is not just grains. It's not just... There are some dots as well. There is some even surface I may have overdid a little bit but generally it's still good okay so uh, when I'm done I can also use my number one brush so what I want like to do with number one brush is uh, your intensity should be around 20 something actually let me look at your default intensity the default intensity for number one brush is 20 okay so I'll just push it down to maybe five or so and then I'll temporarily off my symmetry so I press X and then I'll just use number one brush to brush on some of these areas. So it's like where the burn starts in here, where I can say that this area is really damaged. So I can design some of these areas to look more interesting. And uh, so it's really just limited to your imaginations and what you can do with it. So if I want to finish it off a little bit more on the number six brush, I'll just push in a little bit more here. So I'm creating quite a, quite a serious cut on this on this wood area. So the barrel probably got damaged when it was transported. looks more interesting okay so maybe I after this I can choose another area so notice that I don't have symmetry on right now so whatever I do now is breaking the overall symmetry you know so maybe at the back I can have a, have a huge scar like this you know it's just on the back huh? it's, nobody really cares and uh, we, we just make something really organic so breaking up the symmetry and uh, having the eye for it is pretty important and uh, maybe on top here, I'll just use my number eight brush again. Find a good uh, texture. I wouldn't say this is a good one. Maybe this is better. A little bit on top, a little bit at the bottom. So it looks kind of more like wood. 
Okay, and uh, for top part, if I want to do it nicely, I should use a ruler again. So I hold down sh left click, shift, left click. Let me try that again. Left click, shift, left click. Working. Or I can on my lazy radius over here. Lazy radius will help us to create a very clean brush stroke. Okay, actually, let me do it from a straight angle here. Okay, I'll do a straight angle down. Okay, if I do it from a straight angle, it's much easier. And I think the intensity is too strong, so I'll just help. Left click. So the intensity is too soft. <laughs> Don't mind me. But uh, yep. So sometimes this kind of configurations takes some time. And actually now I'm just using lazy radius. So what what is happening is that you see me creating these brush strokes, and then there's a red line trailing behind. That means uh, I'm using lazy radius, and uh, it's part of the lazy mouse settings on the brush stroke. And it allows us to create those very clean, very nice brush strokes. Okay, so I try to keep this distance a little bit more. Now I'll go in and use my number two brush. Now two brush, I'll try to polish. All these areas so it makes it almost like it's pushing in it's moving some of this so it doesn't look just totally flat and then maybe I'll just pinch all these grains as well pinch 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 pinch, pinch. And I use my number six brush go back and forth a few times Six brush. Okay. Don't need lazy radius so much anymore. Okay, now time to go a little bit crazier. More brush strokes of number six brush. And we got something cool. Okay, remember what I said just now? Create some thick and thin lines. And uh, you need to keep varying the size. So you often see me pressing S on my keyboard when hovering over the, the model. I got no time to go up and then go down, you know. So pressing S saves you so much time. And all right, so I think I'll start the video here. So I hope you enjoy this and able to add some details to the barrel. See you next time.